And ultimately, the, we would say, biblically speaking, that the reason why we do seek those things is because we are made in His image and we're always going to attach that worship need to something. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in all these, these false religions, it's, it's always to a God, but it's always to a God that looks a lot like us. It's always to a false God, man-made image. Um, and so, so yeah, I, mean, I would say that when they do all those things, but ultimately you come to that person, you have to ask the question, yeah, but is your experience valid? Is it true? Not just because it feels good. I mean, who cares what feels good? Who cares if, it, if you had an experience? Because I always say to Mormons and Jehovah's Witnesses and stuff like that, I say, take the Mormon, take the Jehovah's Witness, take the Muslim, take the Christian scientist, take the Rosicrucian, take the rationalist, take the atheist, put them all in one room together with a Christian and have them all tell you their experience. And each one of them is going to have an experience. One, The atheist is going to say, my atheism has freed me and made me more of a free person. I've had more joy in my life than I was when I was a religious person. Then a Muslim comes along and says, no, you're, you're, you're wrong because you haven't experienced what I've experienced in my life with my worship of Allah. And then a Mormon comes along and says, but I've got a burning in my bosom. The Jehovah's Witness comes along and says, you're all wrong and you're all crazy. This is the experience I've had and so it's true. And the Christian comes along and says the same thing. He says, I've experienced the Holy Spirit, the new birth, the forgiveness. And um, so the thing is you put all those people together and you find that pragmatism doesn't work. Just because it works for you doesn't mean it's true. You got to come down to like, what's the objective truth and reality that all of us need to come to get, get around? We can't just use our experience because everyone has one. Conversely, we have bad experiences. Yeah. I've done plenty of things that felt awesome, uh -huh. but destroyed my life. That's right. Not actually, you know, good things. Mm -hmm. That's right. And so it all comes down to what you're writing about. Of what is reality? What is true? And how do I know it? It can't be because I felt it because I might, I can deceive my own self. And so I have to say, like, I'm... Oh, yeah? He has to, if he gets a discount for being good 